Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today uh, I'm doing a quick pen review of a pen from the Italics company uh, that's from Mr. Pen in the UK, uh, Peter Ford over there, uh, who does a huge range of nib grinds and uh, you know specialty sorts of nibs uh, for his pens, the Italics brand. Now these pens are mainly only available through his website, sometimes on things like Massdrop, uh, but the one we're getting today I got through his website and it is the Parsons Essential. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I reviewed the Chaplin's Tankard, uh, which is a relatively new pen. This pen, the Parsons Essential, is one of his uh, more popular and better known pens, uh, favorited by uh, other well-known pen reviewers and all that. So there's lots to look at uh, about this pen online. I thought I'd just put my uh, two cents in here as what I have is a rather uh, unique nib. Um, not that unique, but unique in comparison to what you can get necessarily in standard run of pens. Quick rundown of this pen, I've got the burgundy version here. Uh, it's a sort of a metal lacquered uh, body. It's got rounded fin uh, end and finial and all that. Uh, gold trim on the clip, a very tight clip, uh, and this really nice cap band with this lovely pattern as you can see there. It's a really pretty classic looking pen. Uh, screws to um, cap uh, and it's plastic section and plastic threads on the inside of the cap there. It's a smaller section, nice and long but sort of a little bit narrow. Around the center here it's about a 10 millimeter so it's not so bad but if you get down towards the end towards the flare there it can feel a little bit narrow. Um, it's a really lovely classic design pen and fits beautifully in the hand. Um, so what is unique about the, oh quickly, it's a cartridge converter pen uh, and I love this pen a lot. Now, many of you know, and you'll see, that I'm a left-handed writer, uh, and stub nibs for us are problematic. I also roll my pen uh, to the, turn it to the um, right slightly as I write. So I got a right-footed medium italic oblique nib. Now, I'm not sure how well that'll be picked up, but you can see there that the nib is cut on a pretty distinct angle, tapering down from left to right. Um, that means that as I turn the pen, I get more even contact with the page, allowing for a smoother writing experience uh, and getting a little bit of that natural line variation uh, that we all love so much. So, as I said, yes, uh, medium italic, right oblique uh, nib. So, right foot oblique. And it's really beautiful. Peter does these grinds himself and he does a fabulous, fabulous job. So we have the italics I have written that so badly italics and this is the Parsons essential now the ink here is diamine soft mint which is a beautiful lovely lovely ink now you can already see the pen writes quite wet and you know, puts out a lovely even line uh, of ink on the page. Um, there is that sort of natural line variation you get from an italic, although this is a medium, so it's not going to have huge variation. Um, but that the difference between writing like that and writing like that, where we get a little bit more even purchase on the page, is just remarkable. Um, so these nibs are perfect for left-handed writers, particularly those who turn the pen ever so slightly. Um, the quick beautiful, and as I said, it writes nice and smooth and nice and wet. Um, now this is, as I said, this is a lovely pen. It's a classic looking pen. If this pen was made by a more sort of standard line European company, it would cost a, a considerable amount of money. From Mr. Pen, this pen costs about 40 pounds. So it puts it in a price range that is affordable um, and it doesn't really have a lot else to compete with it at this price point but then when you add the variety of nibs that are available and some of the sort of the more specialty nibs like this one this pen is well worth the money size comparison you can see here next to a Lamy Safari it's not a small pen 
it's you know it's a reasonable size um, if you look at the measurements it's 141 millimeters when it's uh, uncapped it's 124 when it's uncapped and it's 160 when it's posted now it does post but there is a bit of weight in the cap the pen weighs 35.7 grams or 36 grams uh, with 16 in the cap and 20 in the body so the balance does get quite back heavy when it's posted and it posts not quite deep enough to sort of have the balance sitting on the webbing of the hand so it does tilt back i quite like writing with this unposted it feels very comfortable uh, and like a lot of um, my favorite pens the feeling of the pen is in your fingers, which um, is a nice place for it to be for easy, free uh, writing and manipulation of the pen. So this pen, quite remarkable. At this price point, really remarkable. With these nibs, extraordinary. So if you don't uh, know this company, if you haven't looked at these pens, check them out. There's a, a quite a few different uh, pen models that they produce. And they're just really, really lovely pens. Um, I can't really say much more. It's well worth the money and if you want something different with the nib talk to peter he's really approachable he's really great and hook yourself up hope you found this video useful if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that i produce please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below you can find me on instagram or twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me uh, if you've got any products you think i should be looking at drop me a message. If you've got any questions, drop me a message. Or if there's a way you'd like to support this channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy your writing, and I'll talk to you later.